Tēnā koutou katoa and welcome to another Kiri Kiri Ro Explorers Adventure Online called Camilla Toku Ingwa. My name is Camilla and this week we're looking at mimicking each other. There are two parts of this activity. The first part we'll be looking at how nature mimics us. In the second part of the activity we're looking at how we, humans, get inspiration from nature and mimic it for technological innovation. For the first part of this activity, I want you to see if you can find humans in nature. But I don't mean people that are going for a walk. No, I mean things that look like humans but are actually part of our natural environment. For example, it may be a tree that looks like a person or it might be a smiley face hidden in the leaves. Here are some of the things that we found on our walk. Is this an old witch in the lichen? If you can, take photos of what you saw and send them to us because we would love to see. Right, hit the pause button! Well, we're back from our walk and we found lots of things. What about you? For this next part of the activity, we're going to be looking at how humans mimic nature. This is known as biomimicry. Biomimicry is when we see an awesome thing in our natural world that works and we take that technology and put it into our own human innovations. For this part of the activity, I'd like you to do your own research into biomimicry. There's a link for a website below that has some great examples of different animals that have inspired different technologies. What I'd like you to do is find an animal that you really like, find out how it inspired technology, and tell us all about it. While we were researching biomimicry, we started to think about what sort of things are in our house that are examples of biomimicry, and we found a couple. Firstly, Fern's got a drone which has four different um, propellers with which it flies. We decided that this is pretty similar to how dragonflies fly as well. You can check out a cool video of how dragonflies fly in the video description. Another thing that we thought is a, an example of biomimicry in our house is this kite. When we put it on a piece of string and it soars up, it's a little bit like when eagles and other large birds prey soar in the sky. Can you find any examples of biomimicry in your house? Let us know! See you soon! Kakite! This looks like five fingers. It looks like it's trying to give me a high five. Komai rima!